Hey everyone, I'm Bruno, founder of Abstra, and I'm here to show Abstra Workflows, which is the best way to automate your company processes using Python. Installing Abstra is pretty straightforward. You can just type pip install Abstra on your computer, and this will automatically install the Abstra CLI that you can use to start your project. I can use Abstra serve command to start my editor on this new project directory, for instance, and this will pop up a browser with my editor. And if I open this director with my VS Code, for instance, you can see that this created automatically this directory with all the Python files that I will use to create my scripts and also the abstract.json file that stores the information that I'm using to model my workflows. In Abstra, every process is a Python script that can be one of these kinds. The first of all is the forms, which are scripts with human interaction. So if you want to get someone's input or if you want to display data to someone, you can use the forms. Also, you have hooks, which are when you have external system interaction with your workflow. Let's say you have your CRM sending some event telling that you have a new lead, or maybe you have your payment processor telling that some payment was approved. You can use hooks for that. And also you have jobs, which are periodical events that are triggered time to time, let's say weekly or monthly, daily, and so on. There are also the scripts that are triggered by the other scripts in the workflow, as you may see soon. Let's say we want to create a credit approval workflow, which is a very common example we have in Abstract. In this workflow, you have first a form request where people can ask how much loan they want to take. And we have some kind of scoring algorithm or integration step that will get this information and reach with other data and decides if this can either be approved, rejected, or sent to a manual review. Once you get this manual review step, you have to manually decide if you want to approve or not. And this decision should be taken by someone on your team. This is pretty straightforward to do in Amstra. Let's start by creating the request form. First, click new and then select the forms and then add the name request. Once I do that, this will create automatically the form file, which I can use to grab my user input. And as you can see, this also created the request Python file, which can both be edited in Abstract Editor or on your preferred IDE. For this example, I will ask four questions from our users. The first one is name. So I can use this Abstract Forms module to create this variable name, which is equal abstractforms.read what is your name. Then I can do the same with the other fields. Email equals abstract forms, read email. We have many specialized inputs for different kind of inputs other than plain text that you can use to validate the user response. Then I will ask their income, monthly income, af.read currency, and then the loan amount, how much you want to borrow. When doing that, you can just Click start to test your form to see if it's working properly. So if I hit my name, Bruno, email bruno at abstra.io. My monthly income is let's say $100 monthly. I want to borrow $40. As the form execution goes, you can see the execution lines in this left side and the value of each variable by hovering your mouse on the variable. Once it's finished, we can go to the next step, the scoring script. If I click in back, I go to my home screen where I can create my next step, which is the scoring script. Creating a script called scoring. This will automatically create the Python file that I can use to decide whether or not I want to accept this low one. Since I want to get the data that was passed from my previous step here, I need to go to my workflow editor to link those stages so I can create a transition allowing my thread to navigate through my workflow. When I add this transition, this scoring script will be automatically executed every time this form script finishes. You can save it and see that in your Kanban view. In this view, you can select which stages you want to follow and see real time what is happening in your workflow. For instance, I will start again another thread in this request stage, hitting start, and see this in another window so you can see real time what's happening. When I click start, I start executing the script and you can see that the script is already running. I will fill my information here. 
like this. And you can see that the thread walked through executing the scoring script just after finishing the request. Since I want to use the information I just filled in the request form, I need to use Abster Workflows module to save this information. This is pretty straightforward. First, go to your request script and then import the getData function from our workflow module, like this, from abstra.workflows import set data. By doing that, I can now store this information in my thread and use in the future stages like this. Set data, name, and do the same thing for the rest. If we restart my request form to see what's happening and type again the information, You can see that this time the thread that was created have this data available that you can access by using the workflows module. Going to the scoring script, I can import abstract workflows module function get data to get the data filled in the previous form, like this from abstract.workflows import get data, and do that to get all the information I just set, like this name equals get data name email, monthly income, and loan amount. Now I have this data available in my script and I can use that to do some logic. Let's say if loan amount is greater than monthly income times, let's say 80%, then I will just reject this loan. So I can just import my set data function and set data approval to reject it. Another rule is that if the loan amount is greater than my monthly income times 30%, I will set my approval to pending. Otherwise, I will just approve. After this automatic scoring stage, I want to decide to send this thread to different stages depending on this approved variable. So I can go back to my editor and then create a condition stage. The condition stage just asks for a variable that will be used to redirect the thread to one of many possible paths in the workflow. In this case, I created this variable called approval. So I can use this approval here and call this condition approval as well. Transition from the scoring stage to this approval stage and then create my three possible outcomes. The first one is when I approve the loan. I can just create a script stage where I can send an email, maybe a SMS message to this person. And by adding a transition from this approval stage to this new one, you can see that the transition is now comparing the value of the approval variable. If I double click in this transition, I can edit what value will bring me to this transition. In this case, I can see my script that is the string approved. Hitting enter, I can see that this transition only occurs when the approval is equal approved. I will rename the script to approved, which will execute the approved Python script. I can hit save and see that Abstra is telling me that even though I I'm pointing to this approved script right here. This file doesn't exist in my directory, as you can see here. You can solve this problem by either manually creating the approved file or just clicking in create approved button and this will automatically create the file as you can see here. Let's do the same thing for the other possible outcomes. Besides approved, we also have the rejected script. So I can just drag a script just like the approved and call it rejected. I can click create file here to make sure this file will be created. And you can see that my VS code was automatically opened in the file when I click it. Then hit save again to make sure my changes were saved. Now I can add a transition that occurs when the approval value is equal rejected as you can see in the code paste it here clicking outside and then command s or control s to save it 
The last stage missing is the manual review, which is a form that other person, this time from your team, have to use to get the information filled in the request form and then manually decide if it should be moved to approve it or reject it. Dragging a form here and renaming it to review in the review path and calling this script review.py, create the file, then adding the last transition that can lend me to this review stage. In this case, it should occur when the approval variable is equal pending. I can copy that, paste here, and then it's almost done. The last touch is adding another condition that can send my thread to either approved or rejected after my manual review. I can add another condition block that will be called reveal condition and check a variable that I may create call it review. Now I can just transition from my review to this review condition and then to the approved when I manually approve it and the same thing for the rejected rejected now my workflow is almost done I can write my review form and then customize my approved and rejected stages but before that let's create a simple review form where your analyst should see all the information filled in the preview steps and then decides whether they should be approved or rejected i can just open the review file and use page to display all the information i want in the same page for instance i want to display the person's name like this then the email, the monthly income, the loan amount, and ask what they want to do with this request, which can either be approve or reject. As in the previous script, I have to define these variables by using the getData function, importing from abstra.workflows module, and import getData, and also set data that will be used to set my review variable. Then my name is equal my getData name, email is the same, monthly income, loan amount, and I can get the answer from this page that run it here. After that, I want to decide if my answer action is equal approved, then I will set my review data to approve it. Otherwise, I will set my review data to reject it. If I go back to my Kanban view, I can add the other stages to see what is happening. I don't have to always fill the forms again, since I already have a thread here, I can just duplicate this thread and ask my workflow to run it again. This operation is what we call fork. If I fork this thread in the scoring stage, you can see that this created a thread with the same values, but in a waiting status, waiting for someone to hit this play button and allow it to execute. As you can see, when I click in the play button, the thread disappeared because the values I added here, combined with my scoring policy, sent this thread to the manual review stage that I can see here. I can see the next stages here to visualize what is happening when I click in this play button. After doing that, this opened another tab in this review form, but now this is specified to run based on this specific thread I selected. So when I hit start, this shows the information I added to my form and the decision options, which I can select to decide whether I should approve or reject this. If I click approve, now you can see my request was approved and my approved script was executed properly. Of course, this is a very simplified version of a real process that you may want to execute on your company, but this illustrates well how Abstract works. I hope you like it and I'll see you next.